Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Moreland Spingarn Research Center, I'd like to invite it, to welcome you to this event. It is the screening of the documentary film entitled Dignity and Defiance, a portrait of Mary Church Terrell. The filmmaker, Robin Hamilton, did much of her research on our Mary Church Terrell papers here at Moreland Spingarn. Ms. Hamilton is an Emmy award-winning journalist, filmmaker, and writer. She wrote, produced, and directed her first film, This Little Light of Mine, The Legacy of Fannie Lou Hamer, noted civil rights activist. This film was released in 2015, so I'm so happy that she's here and welcome to Howard University. So let me digress just a little. Mr. Gibbs is here, by the way. Um, I just said she used the Mary Church Terrell papers at Moreland Spingarn. There is an interesting little story about how we came uh, to, to have these papers. Um, if any of you know me, you know that I'm full of interesting little stories. There's some of them not so interesting. But how they, how they came here, the bulk of, his pa of her papers, of Mary Church Terrell's papers, uh, was donated in the mid-1950s to the Library of Congress. Uh, her daughter, Phyllis, donated them. Now the story goes that the staff from the library went to the Terrell house, picked up what they deemed significant, and took it on back to the oops, Library of Congress. Well, our founding curator, Dorothy Porter, who was a dynamo, and I'm always amazed at the things she collected over her tenure here. She heard about the papers. She went to the Terrell home, collected everything else. <laughs> and what we ended up um, <coughs> with was a wonderful uh, resource. Photographs, correspondence, speeches and writings, all from Mary Church Terrell. Even a beautiful blue velvet evening gown that she used to wear uh, on, on occasion. Now I've never compared our papers with those at the Library of Congress. But I do know that between those two collections, the life of Mary Church Terrell is well, well documented. I also know that our Mary Church Terrell papers um, are one of the most popular uh, collections that we have. And I know that Robin Hamilton used those papers effectively, as you will see um, as the film rolls. So now after the screening of the film, uh, Robin will join Mr. C.R. Gibbs in a panel discussion. Mr. Gibbs is a noted author and local, national, and international lecturer on a wide range of historical subjects. And we are so pleased that, uh, that he came to us tonight. So at this time, Jacqueline Dreyer of the DC Preservation League would also like to welcome you to this event. She played a principal role in making this whole thing happen. And she will talk to you, I suppose, about the DC Preservation League's role in preserving the Mary Church Terrell House. Okay, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Joellen. Wanted to welcome you all as well. Thank you so much for joining us this evening to screen Robin Hamilton's excellent film. Um, I just want to tell you a bit about DC Preservation League because we had the chance to co-host this event with the Moreland Spring Iron Center here at Howard. Um, so I'm Jacqueline Dreher. I'm the Outreach and Grants Manager at the DC Preservation League. And the DC Preservation League, I'll just say DCPL from now on, not the public library though. Um, we are the citywide nonprofit dedicated to historic preservation advocacy and education citywide here in Washington. 
And we have advocated for the preservation of the very house you're going to see featured in the film for about two decades now. Um, and I want to just start by thanking the Moreland Springer and Research Center for, especially Joe Allen, for partnering with us and hosting this event. This is such a fabulous screening area. And you all know, or if you don't already know, are about to get way more information about Mary Church Terrell than I want to provide you now from the excellent film. But I just want to note a couple exceptional things about her life um, before sort of explaining how that connects with the house and DCPL's interest in making sure her uh, significance is understood and preserved. So Mary Church Terrell is a figure of national historic significance. To just note a few of the really exceptional accomplishments uh, from her life, she led the successful fight to integrate Washington, D.C. eateries. She uh, was the instigator of the lawsuit that resulted in the 1953 <coughs> Supreme Court decision that the practice of segregating eateries, restaurants, and similar establishments in this city specifically was unconstitutional. And before that, she had begun her career as a teacher. She went on to become the um, first black woman to be appointed to a school board in the entire country here in Washington, D.C. She was an educator. She was married to a judge. And while she was doing some of her important early work in both uh, suffrage and education, she was living in the house at 326 T Street, just a few blocks from here. And she was doing some of her really important early and mid-career work there. And that house, because of the time that she spent in it, is both a national historic landmark, it's listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and it's protected here in Washington, D.C. as a contributing structure to the LaDroit Park Historic District. And in maybe a, a less fun inclusion, it is also listed on D.C. Preservation League's Most Endangered Places list because there have been many rehabilitation efforts for the house. Some of you have probably seen it or seen photos of it, but the house is presently vacant. And in its present state, it's at risk of suffering what we call demolition by neglect because it's not well stabilized. It's not preserved in a way that a building can just last and be well maintained. So DCPL has long advocated for um, a satisfactory reuse of this building in keeping with her legacy. And earlier this year, we co-hosted an awareness raising event. And we're really happy that earlier this year, Howard University was uh, awarded a huge grant from the National Park Service to preserve her home as well as one other important home here in DC. And so we very much look forward to seeing the result of that work as it unfolds. And that's all. Get out of the way now so we can screen the film. Thank you all so much for joining us.